The debug sidebar can be used to see the details of messages passed to debug nodes in the flow. It also displays any warning or error level log messages. Each message in the sidebar consists of the current date time the message was received, the name or ID of the node that generated the message, the name of the message property being displayed and its type, and the value of that message property. Hovering over the message will highlight the node it came from within the editor. If it isn't currently in the visible workspace, you can click on its name or ID in the header of the message to jump to the node in question. The sidebar provides a structured view of the messages it receives and provides a number of ways to explore their values. In this flow, I have a number of inject nodes configured to inject messages of different types. For example, if the value is a whole number type, clicking on it will cycle between decimal and hexadecimal display. If it appears to be a timestamp, it will also display it as a human readable time. In the cases of objects, arrays, or buffer types, the value can be expanded out to see more details, allowing you to explore the full structure of the property. When the mouse hovers over any part of the message, a set of buttons appears on the right-hand side. The first button will copy the path to the message property to your system clipboard. This is very helpful if you're not sure how to access a particular property deep within an object structure. For example, here I select the property and copy its path. I can then add a change node and paste that path straight into the to field. Now, when I deploy and inject the message to that change node, the payload just contains the one property I was interested in. The second button in the message tools copies the value of the property to the system clipboard, encoded using JSON in case of objects and arrays. For performance reasons, if an array or buffer is over a certain size, the debug sidebar receives a truncated copy. Selecting the option to copy the value will get you that truncated value. The third button will pin that property open so that any future message coming from the same debug node will be automatically expanded to show any pinned properties. At the top of the debug sidebar is an option to filter what messages are shown. By default, it shows messages from all active debug nodes. The filter option allows you to restrict it to just the nodes on the current flow or tab of the editor, or to only show messages from select nodes. There's also a button to clear all messages from the sidebar, which can also be done using the Ctrl-Alt-L or Command-Alt-L on Mac keyboard shortcut. Finally, there is a button in the footer of the sidebar to open the debug tab to a new browser window, giving you more space to work with.